Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Dr. V. Jayakuma. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. Having studied inversions of grass of chain in our earlier video, we will be discussing about various practical applications of inversions of four bar chain in this video. Before we proceed, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified every time when I post a brand new video on this channel. Now let's get started. First, let us do a quick recap on the topics that we have discussed already. We know that a four bar chain is the most fundamental and the simplest kinematic chain. The four links of a four bar chain are frame, which is nothing but the fixed link. Then crank is the link which makes complete revolution. The link which makes oscillation is known as lever or rocker. Finally, the link opposite to the fixed link or the link which is not connected to the frame is known as coupler. What is meant by the term inversion? The process of obtaining different mechanisms by fixing different links in a kinematic chain is known as inversion of the mechanism. For example, a kinematic chain having four links can produce four different mechanisms by fixing its different links one at a time. The four inversions of four bar chain are illustrated in this diagram. Let S be the length of the shortest link, L length of the longest link, P and Q are lengths of the other two links. As you could see there, by fixing different links one at a time, we get four different mechanisms. Very interestingly, you can see the first two inversions form crank rocker also known as crank lever mechanism. The third diagram, two links of the four bar have rotational motion and hence it forms double crank also known as drag link mechanism. Finally, two links of the four bar chain oscillate. Hence, we can call that mechanism as double rocker or double lever mechanism. Though theoretically four inversions are possible by four bar chain, they will form only three distinct mechanisms, namely crank rocker mechanism, double crank mechanism and double rocker mechanism, depending upon the link that is fixed. The various conditions to form those mechanisms are shown here. Now let us summarize the various practical applications of inversions of four bar mechanisms. We mention all rotary oscillating converters are examples of crank rocker mechanism. Coupled wheels of a locomotive and drag link quick return mechanism are examples of double crank mechanism. Watts straight line generator mechanism, pantograph and Ackerman steering gear mechanisms are typical applications of double rocker mechanisms. We are going to see all those applications one by one now. First, let us present the application of crank rocker mechanism. The most popular application is a beam engine. In this four bar mechanism, the blue colored link is a crank. The green colored one is the rocker. So that is the basics for the formation of beam engine. The line sketch of the beam engine is given here. This beam engine is used to convert rotary motion into reciprocating motion. With the use of this animation, 
we will better understand the working of beam engine as you could see there the rotary motion of the input link which is nothing but the crank is converted into the oscillatory motion of the lever which is nothing but the link 3 this oscillatory motion of the lever is converted into reciprocating motion of the plunger in a cylinder as shown in the animation now let us present two applications of double crank mechanism the first one being coupling of locomotive wheels in fact it is an example of double crank mechanism let us present the line sketch of this coupling of locomotive wheels it consists of four links and the opposite links are equal in length this mechanism is used to transmit rotary motion from one wheel to the other wheel to better understand the working of it look into this animation now we can very well compare the line sketch and the animation obviously we have two cranks since links 1 and 3 work as two cranks this mechanism is also known as a rotary rotary converter that's why this mechanism used to transmit rotary motion from wheel to the other wheel for coupling of locomotive wheels now let us see the second application of double cranker mechanism which is drag link quick return mechanism so this is also a four bar mechanism with a double crank in which the shortest link is fixed as you could see from this animation if the green colored input link rotates at a uniform speed the yellow colored output link rotate at non-uniform speed this rotation of the output link is transformed to quick return reciprocatory motion of the ram by the link 5 here the time taken for the return stroke is lesser than that for the forward cutting stroke and hence this drag link mechanism is also known as quick return mechanism now we will present three applications of double rocker or double lever mechanism the first one being watts straight line generator the underlying concept for this application is double rocker mechanism where two links oscillate as you could see in this animation link 2 and link 4 which are colored in red and green oscillate a point in link 4 traces approximately a straight line in fact this mechanism was invented by james watt for his steam engine to guide the piston rod along straight line the second application is pantograph the basic form of a pantograph is a four bar mechanism in the form of a parallelogram the link bc is equal to link d and link cd is equal to link b thus bc de forms a parallelogram here the links 2 and 4 oscillate and hence it comes under double rocker mechanism application the pantograph is a device which is used to reproduce a displacement exactly in an enlarged or reduced scale in fact pantographs are being used in machine tools such as in profile grinding in engraving machine and in guiding cutting torch to generate contour similar to that of a template 
the final application is Ackerman steering gear mechanism. This is also based on the double rocker mechanism concept. The diagram shows the front wheels of an automobile when vehicle moves along straight line and when vehicle steers to the left. You could see there the four bar mechanism A, B, C, D wherein links AB is greater than links CD whereas links BC and AD are equal in length. When vehicle moves along straight line, links AB and CD are parallel. When the vehicle turns towards left or right, the links AB and CD are not parallel. In this, links BC and AD oscillate during steering towards left or right. Hence, it comes under double rocker mechanism. This Ackerman steering gear mechanism is used in practice because of its simplicity and the presence of turning pairs. The key takeaways of this video are summarized here for your ready reference. Hope you found this video very useful. If so, support the work by liking this video, sharing it to your friends, subscribing the channel and also hitting the notification bell icon. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.